Hello, my dancer family. What is up? Hope everyone's having a good day. Uh, as you noticed, noticed from the thumbnail, we are going to talk about bum spurs. Add a question. And yes, I don't have my lowers in. Uh, <laughs> the question was from Jim. He wanted to know if what are bone spurs and will he get them? All right. First, um, bone spurs are just bone fragments that are left behind from your tooth extractions. Um, now, will you get them? I have no idea. Only your body, your mouth would tell if they surface. You will know. You will definitely know if they are, if you have them. Not everyone gets them, uh, but some do. Um, let me see here. When I got mine, um, it was a year after uh, my full mouth extraction. Actually, when I started wearing my dentures, uh, that's when I started having some pop up uh, on the lower only. Um, now, when I did have them, not at the same time when I did get them, I did not wear my lower just because that's just how I chose to do it. Um, and the only thing I used was the oral gel mouthwash. I still love that stuff till this day. Uh, some people use this plain old warm salt water uh, swish. Uh, and there's uh, Benzodent. You can get that online. <laughs> I'm in your face. Uh, there's Benzodent. You can only get this online uh, if you're prepping for this or you're going through it. There's oral gel. You can get the oral gel cream or gel. Um, from any store that has a pharmacy, uh, Walgreens, Walmart, CVS, anywhere like that. And there's this. This is the cream. I was just wondering, because I never use this stuff, but what is the difference between, besides it's a cream and then there's a gel? I mean, does one stick better to the gums? I mean, can someone help me out with that myself? <laughs> if you care to share or comment in the sec uh, comment section, I would appreciate it. I just want to know. <laughs> Um, now, um, when I went through it, I let it ride. I did not play with it to force it out. Uh, some people let it, it ride. Some people force it out. Some people go back to their dentist or their oral, uh, oral surgeon and have it removed. Uh, and actually there was a case where a lady, she had to wear her denture and she put her her gingers in her adhesive and then at the end of the day the adhesive pulled it out i can't remember who that was but anyway i thought that was cool but those little suckers hurt no matter where they're at in your mouth those little suckers hurt uh i've heard them called bone spurs bone chips bone slithers there's all kind of names but they're just bone fragments that are left from your tooth extraction um now for me i let it ride right uh, and of course, I had to do my oral care, you know, and um, my gums were, they're sore when you're, especially in that area. And you don't want to use a, teach the own, but I didn't. I would always go to my little uh, oral sponge. I love these little guys. I do. Uh, you can't see it, but they got some toothpaste. You wet it and it lathers up a little bit, but I like a lot of lather. So I do add a little bit of Dr. Berlin uh, paste. Love it. Clean that paste. Sorry. Um, love it. I love a good lather. And it just gives you that comfort of knowing your mouth is going to be clean. Everything is good. Especially when you're sick. These are awesome too. You just do what you got to do instead of using your normal toothbrush. And then just toss it. That's why I really like these. Teach their own. You know. Again. Uh, but... I hope that helped. Also, he had a question of, are canker sores the same? <laughs> okay, canker sores, I have never had. Um, but, I didn't even do my research on that, to be honest with you. But isn't that a blister on the inside of the mouth? Uh, I know cold sores are on the outside of the mouth. I've seen cold sores on people. But I've never had a cold sore or a canker sore. So, I don't know, to be honest with you, and I apologize for not doing my research, but it's easy just to Google or, you know, <laughs> if anyone wants to respond in the comment section on either or, I appreciate it. But, um, if I'm not mistaken, a canker sore is inside a blister, right? And then the cold sore is 
somewhere on the, the lips, right? Can it be inside too? Uh, alright. So I hope that helped. <laughs> I do apologize, Jim, for not doing my research on that. But it's just real easy to just do what I do, Google and get my answers until you get told to your doctor, your dentist, uh, for that stuff. It's important to always go to them. Now, real quick, make sure I covered that. Yeah. But, um, I mentioned earlier in my Denture Talk group, I am getting another set of dentures. Um, Russell Klein has decided to, um, uh, add another option in his uh, denture store it is coming soon uh, for display only until he sees how this goes he's just going to see how it goes first on the displays and then maybe can go into custom uh, doing it for custom um, wear I am doing it custom wear just to see how they look on my gums uh, just how they look period I'm excited I do send my impression kit off in the morning uh, I will show you more and tell you more about it but yeah I'm really excited there's gonna be some new things added to the, the denture store more options for people uh, and options are good it's really good to have a choice in certain things you know it uh, so yeah some are gonna like them some are not but that's a good thing about options all right I'm gonna get off here and I will see you in the comment section everyone have a good day uh, rest of the week, uh, let's see, Monday, I will have a guest. Uh, she uh, approached me about it, so she's going to be on to share her journey, and I'm excited. So tune in Monday, um, and some of you do know her, some of you don't, but it doesn't matter. We just want to know how she's doing in her journey, um, showing off her new smile. So I will see you Monday for sure, for sure. Uh, have a good weekend if I don't see you anymore today, this week. Um, I'm supposed to be doing another video, but I don't know yet. All right, I'm tired of talking. Everyone have a good one. I'll see you in the comment section. Have a good weekend to those that are just gum healing, uh, healthy healing to you all. Uh, to those that are about to have your E-Day. Um, Ed, Tucson guy. You're in my prayers. I'm wishing you well. Um, get home safe. And I will see you guys later, guys. Peace.